I mean, I don't think he's gonna die, but yeah, he's gonna die. Lots of stuff is going to happen in Stormlight 5, and with the preview chapter starting to drop next week, we're going to start getting some answers. I'll be doing a breakdown video of those weekly chapter releases, so subscribe to join the conversation. Wind and Truth is going to be Zeth's flashback novel. Does the entire thing happen during the 10 days building up to the Contest of Champions? That would be quick, and would require a lot of people to do a lot of things and go a lot of places very swiftly. Personally, I think the Contest of Champions will happen about at the end of Part 3. Dalinar is going to pick himself as champion, Odium is going to pick... Gavinor. As hinted at by that one death rattle about holding the knife at the child's throat, Dalinar gives up and starts to become affused. He's not gonna want to kill his grandson. In law. Renarin somehow forces Teravodium into breaking the contract, opening him up to shattering, and Dalinar becomes the Shard of War. Two down, 14 to go. He is unity, after all. We're for sure going to find out about Shallan's mom, who was almost definitely the Herald Chanarach, and therefore must be tootling around somewhere since Taln showed up. That reunion will probably happen in this book. That'd be awesome. A Herald? She's supposed to be dead! Yeah, weird. The Kaladin Zeth buddy cop journey to Shinovar is going to end in metaphorical blood and literal smoke. Nightblood is gonna be hungry. Ishar's going to tell them his plan to reforge the Oath Pact, but then they'll have to kill or otherwise incapacitate him because he's nuts. The other Honor Blades will not only be seen, but used in combat. Spoilers for Sunlit Man. But first, thanks patrons! Doug, Matt, Steve, Data Gremlin, Alec, Craig, Scotty, James, Dalinar's butt, which will definitely be important in this book, Moochie, Chris, Mythicarone, Gallant Aegis, and the Son of James. So, given that Nomad ends up off-world without his original Spren, something big is going to happen with the Radiance, or at least the Windrunners. Brandon has said Sunlit Man should be read between Rhythm of War and Wind and Truth. So... In fact, the only Radiance we've seen in the future of the Cosmere have been Skybreakers. So what if all the Honor Spren die? The end of Winds and the emergence of Truths? Syl's going to get pulled into the physical realm by Ishar, but because of her bond with Kaladin, she'll survive. Which would give fodder to the Syladin shippers. Too bad he's gonna die. In the fight with Ishar, Kaladin's gonna swear the fifth ideal, which is going to be some permutation of sometimes the best way to protect is to not fight. And then he will sacrifice himself to protect Roshar. He's going to sacrifice himself! No, you can't! There must be another way! Will that act of true honor cause him to take up the Shattered Shard of Honor as the son of Tanavast? Or maybe he'll be put into a situation where he'll be forced to break his oaths, and in order to prevent prevent Syl from becoming a Deadeye again, he kills himself. Moash wins. <laughs> I think the climax of the book, because again, the Contest of Champions is happening at the end of part three, is going to be the release of Ba Edo Mishram. She's going to be pissed about being stuck in a rock for 2,000 years, and is going to do something to royally mess with the Spren, which will then cliffhanger us for 10 years until Brandon writes Stormlight 6. Rapid fire final crazies. It's all going to come to a head in the Sanderlanch when and Leshwi and her mom lead in a battalion of listeners riding on chasm fiends to save the day. Renarin and Relaine are gonna kiss. We're definitely gonna get the name of the last shard. Wisdom or prudence or something like that. Some process to maybe not fully restore, but at least revitalize Deadeye Spren is going to be found. Vasher's going to finally do the thing he was made a returned to do. Probably something like remake an unmade. Sia Anat finally switches sides. She's probably hanging with Renarin and Relaine. Shallan gets a super intense fight with Mraze and the Ghostbloods. Ghosty Kelsier is probably going to show up. L is going to do something and be involved somehow. He might be the big bad for the second arc. And Moash goes to therapy. So what do you think is going to happen in the final book of the first arc of Stormlight? I'll be digging in with more predictions on the preview chapters when they come out, so make sure to subscribe so you don't miss them. If you want to theorycraft some more, hop on my Discord. Preview chapters start next week, so let's read and find out!